How do we evaluate an algebraic expression with exponents? For example, how do you find the value of x to the second power plus 8 when x equals 5? In this lesson, you will learn how to evaluate algebraic expressions by using exponents. You already know that an algebraic expression has at least one variable and at least one operation. On your screen is an example of an algebraic expression. The order of operations is incredibly important when we want to evaluate expressions. The first step in the order of operations is to do everything in parentheses first. Step two is exponents. Step three is to multiply or divide from left to right and step four is to add or subtract from left to right. Today we're going to focus on step two, exponents. A common mistake when using exponents is to multiply the base number by the exponent. You never want to multiply the base number of four times the exponent of two in the expression four to the second power. Four to the second power is not equivalent to four times two. Just doesn't work. Okay, on your screen you see an algebraic expression that's written in word form. I have five squared minus a number. Remember back when we were talking about exponents of two, we said that they could also be written as five squared or five to the second power. In this instance, we know that we're going to be taking five and squaring it or putting it to the second power minus a number and to substitute a number for a variable I use the variable y. So 5 squared minus a number is the same as 5 to the second power minus y. y is the variable. What's the value of the algebraic expression x squared plus 8 for x equals 5? This is the example that was given on the very first slide of this lesson. Let's take a look at x squared plus 8. Well, what does x squared mean? Well, it means that x is used as a factor two times. x is our base. So if I want to write the expanded form of x squared, I could put it in parentheses and I could say that it was x times x. And then I would add 8 to it to make the rest of this algebraic expression complete. I need to use substitution now for every time I see x I'm going to substitute the value 5. When I substitute 5 in I look at the expression now and I have the quantity of 5 times 5 plus 8. Well we have to rely on the order of operations to see us through the rest of the evaluation. I know 5 times 5 is my multiplication. We multiply before we add so 25 plus 8 and 25 plus 8 is 33. So the value of the algebraic expression x squared plus 8 for x equals 5 is 33. Suppose x equals 10. How does the value of the algebraic expression x squared plus 8 change? Well, let's take a look. Remember we said x squared was equivalent to x times x. So now I'm going to change my variable to 10. Instead of x, I include 10. So now I have 10 times 10 plus 8. I have to do everything in parentheses first. 10 times 10 is equivalent to 100. So 100 plus 8 is 108. Therefore, the value of the algebraic expression x squared plus 8 is 108 when x equals 10. In this lesson, you have learned how to evaluate algebraic expressions by using exponents.